Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. 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 Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Y'all come on in there. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Let's go. Good morning. 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 All right, good morning, good morning, y'all, good morning. Good stuff. Good morning. Ah, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, y'all. Come on, good morning. Good morning, y'all know how it goes. Good morning, good morning. Make sure when you come in that you're greeting somebody, that you're saying good morning to somebody that you see, that you recognize on the call. Let's say good morning this morning, right? Come on, it's a good morning. Welcome to Sunday morning. 9.30 and 11.15 are our experiences on uh, this very page, uh, Amazing Church. Good morning. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Come on. Good morning. Good morning. Sunday morning. Come on. Sunday morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let us know where you're, where you're watching from uh, on both on, uh, on IG and on, uh, on Facebook. If you've got a prayer request in there, we'll go back and get it. you got a question in there, you can put it in there. Um, it is up to us to be on the wall. We're on the wall this morning. I got something for you this morning, and your devotion is going to be as your devotion this morning is going to be. I think a one statement, but you got to you got to get in. Come on. Good morning. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Love y'all. Appreciate you. Good morning. Every day. Every day. Every day until. Okay. Every day until. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Oh, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Come on. Good morning. Good morning. This is promises. Come on. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Good morning. Come on, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Come on, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, we just got a, a little bit, a little bit of time, a little bit of time left. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to the Everyday Until Prayer Call. Live, <laughs> fast, <laughs> this is it, every day until we on the wall, y'all, come on. Come on, talk to somebody you see, let them know that you're glad that they're there this morning, it's Sunday morning, we all got stuff to happen. Those of you on the East Coast, I know some of y'all are already at church. Um, so glory to God on the West Coast. Uh, it's, it's early this morning. It's six o'clock, but you're here. Uh, Central Standard Time, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time that we're every day until, every day until, every day until, every day until. And we've got to be on the wall. We got to be on the wall. Beautiful moment. Come on. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We just got a little bit, little bit left. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let me get into it this morning, so I, so you have time to to get your coffee brewed and also go to where uh, go to church. All right, because I want y'all to get to church this morning. Well, good morning. Welcome to the Everyday Until Prayer Call and Fast. For those of you that are here for the first time, we welcome you. The reason why uh, the people in those lives are saying hello to you, they're identified because we're family. We're a unit. We have decided that we're going to stay on the wall, and we are the faithful ones that we believe that God has called for us to intercede and pray on behalf of those that can't pray. 
pray on behalf uh, of those that are uh, that are attacking it from uh, from the front lines. Pray on behalf of those that can't pray uh, anymore. We're both on uh, Facebook Live and we're also on IG Live at Amazing Church. Uh, we want you to invite people in so that they can receive prayer. Sometimes the people that you're inviting in, we know that they, they need prayer, and so this is a great place for it. But we're representing our states. We're inter we're interceding for our states, whatever state we're in. So we say where we are from on the call, and we communicate with each other while we are on the call in the midst of the devotion and in the midst of the prayer. Uh, we're going to give you inspiration. That's what we're calling your devotion and uh, inspiration and motivation. It's it's dynamic, but it's inspiration and motivation. Nonetheless, your devotion. And then you're responsible for the application. Every day, you're going to get some inspiration. Every day, you're going to get motivation. And every day, you're going to have the responsibility of the application of the information that you just received. We're excited about it. We pray. We pray because we believe that all answers are found in the Word of God. We also pray because we understand that being like Christ Jesus, who is interceding for us, we also have to intercede on behalf of those uh, in the earth and realm. And if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, turn from their wicked ways, seek my face, that when he says all of those things, he's saying that to us, that's what we do. He says, then he'll hear from heaven. Then he will heal the land. We also believe that when we cry out to him, his word says that when you cry out to me, uh, I will hear you and answer you and show you great and mighty things. This is God saying that I will hear and answer you. Scripture also says for us to pray without ceasing. Uh, and that we're supposed to pray without ceasing and make our requests or our supplications, make our requests known uh, unto the Lord. So we are, we believe in the power of prayer. It's the power of prayer that's going to make a difference. It's the power of prayer that's going to change the, the circumstances. It's the power of prayer that's pulling the curve down. It's the power of prayer that we believe God is going to pour out his wisdom. So whoever needs to find the cure, wherever country they're in, that's going to show up. And we believe that. And so uh, we're not ignorant to the, the, afflictions that are in the earth, but we're cheered and we're we're excited because we know we've overcome through Christ Jesus. He's done it for us. And what a powerful, what a powerful uh, thing he did in terms of not only overcoming the world, but putting us in position so that we were able and that we we're able to receive salvation and approach him ourselves. And so we're on the wall. We're meditating. We're, 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 we're chewing on the word of God, meditating day and night. Uh, and we're going back and forth and understanding that this is the focus of what it is that we're doing. So bless the Lord this morning. That's why we're here every day until prayer and fast. And so what we do is we come, we have our dynamic devotion moment, moment here, and then we uh, have our prayer. And after our first meal, we don't eat anything. It's liquids. It is a fast for four hours after that. And we're doing it every day. You're fasting every day. We're fasting every single day. We're praying every Every day, we have an expectation that every day, any day, uh, the Lord could do whatever it is that he wants to do, but any day this could happen. And we're in faith. We've got to be in faith. And so we're praying for leaders. We're praying for wisdom. We're we're constant and in this and faithful. And so I'm glad. All right, it's time, y'all. Uh, glory be to God. Excited that you're uh, here again. Uh, welcome to the Everyday Until Prayer Fast uh, prayer and fast, and uh, and we're glad uh, everybody is on the line this morning. I've got some inspiration for you. My inspiration today is coming out of Judges, the sixth chapter. It's coming out of Judges, the sixth chapter, and there's something I want you to see. And again, I'm going to give you a few points, some some motivation, uh, so that you can you can truly get this application going. Amen. Come on. Good morning. It says in Judges, the sixth chapter, verse eleven. This is a famous passage of scripture. This is something that you know. I just want to show you a little light, a little difference on that. It says, now the angel of the Lord came and sat on the terebinth tree, which was in Ophrah, which belonged to Joash the Abizarite, while his son Gideon threshed wheat in the wine press in order to hide it from the Midianites. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said to him, the Lord is with you, you mighty man of valor. But that's not the point. Here's where we want to go. Gideon said to him, now the reason why they're here is because of children of Israel started dwelling with other people and having other gods before God. That's how they got in this situation, okay? And so I don't want you to, to miss what happens here, all right? And then you have Gideon there in the, uh, he's in a cave, uh, but they had, there's other places, you know, caves, uh, thickets. Scripture says, caves, thickets, holes, 
Can y'all get that? Come on. Caves, thickets, and holes is where they hid because of the Midianites. This was the this is how they hid this. And the reason why they hid is because the Midianites would come and they would take everything from them. And, and as they went through the land, not that they were dwelling there, they would go through the land and uh, take all the things from the Israelites. All right. So now uh, the Israelite name means God's, God prevails. How many know that God still prevails? That's what Israel means. God prevails. God still prevails. All right. And so in here, uh, this is 13. This is where I want to go. Uh, Gideon said to him, oh, my Lord, if the Lord is with us, why? Listen, oh, my Lord, if the Lord is with us. All right. That's the Lord's name being spoken twice. All right. That is Adonai. That is Adonai. Uh, they would use this Lord, Lord, or they would use Adonai because they didn't want to say the word, um, they didn't want to say Yahweh because the name Yahweh was so holy, all right? Uh, so Gideon said to him, oh my Lord, if the Lord is with us, why then has all this happened to us? And where are all his miracles, which our fathers told us about? Saying, did not the Lord bring us up out of Egypt, but now the Lord has forsaken us and delivered us into the hand of the Midianites, all right? This is what Gideon Gideon says, this is a big deal. Gideon said to him, oh my Lord. Now he knows who he's talking to. He knows who he's counting on. He knows what's going on, but yet he's still complaining. He's still talking about his circumstance. He's still talking about how he feels. He's still talking about his present situation. Here's the big deal that we got to, that I want you to hear. You've got to be careful labeling yourself by your circumstances. You've got to be careful labeling yourself by your situation. You've got to be careful labeling Labeling yourself by your by your possessions, anything, any situation, you got to be careful labeling yourself by how you feel. Don't label yourself by how you feel. You got to know what God says. You see, he calls him here, mighty man of valor. And when he says, well, where is God? Where? Why? Why would he put, put us in this situation? The angel of the Lord doesn't even answer that complaint. He goes forward anyway and says, go in your might and you will overcome the Midianites. And then, then Gideon starts begins to say, he says, oh, this is 15. He said to him, oh my Lord, how can I save Israel? Indeed, my clan is the weakest in Manasseh and I am the least in my father's house. He is naming himself by his circumstances. He was naming himself by how he felt. He was naming himself by what he had or possessed, but he did not ever focus in on what the Lord called him, what the Lord named him, what the Lord put him in the earth to do. His name means to hewer. He was a hewer to hew out, to, to draw out, to take out, to dig it out. He was a, he was the one responsible to root out what was happening in Israel so that they can be delivered back into where they were supposed to go, return back to what they got, uh, got kicked out of. You got to hear what I just said here. He never identified himself by what he was called he kept identifying himself by how he felt. Don't identify with how you feel and make that your label. Make that who you are. Don't do it by the circumstances. Don't, don't, don't label yourself by your pain. Don't label yourself by your circumstances. Don't label yourself by your possessions. And so you've got to be responsible enough to understand that be careful while under quarantine. Be careful when you're going out. Be careful getting on Instagram and, and, and Facebook and the phone and all the places is complaining so much that you're forgetting to praise. Don't complain so much that you forget to praise. Remember, we said we got to praise God because this is the key. The day is the day that the Lord has made. I choose to rejoice. I choose to give him praise. I choose to get up early in the morning and seek his face and give him glory and give him honor. So today, I just gave you inspiration. Don't look at and miss what happens in this Gideon story. The angel of the Lord never identifies Gideon by what he had. He never identified him by his pain and he never identified him by his circumstances. He identified him by his calling. You are identified by your assignment in the earth and we serve at the pleasure of the king. We're here to expand the kingdom of God and when we rise up and intercede. We're doing that because we're answering a call. This is the place where we have to feel this need. There is a lot going on, but I'm telling you, the focus of what we need to have going on is glorifying God in the earth, calling on him, making our requests known unto him, and reminding him of his word, speaking in agreement, confession with the word of God, homologia. Come on. If y'all agree with that, give God praise for it this morning. Come on. Give him glory this morning. Give him glory this morning. 
I promise you, I promise you this morning, this morning we woke up to praise him. This morning we woke up to give him glory. This morning we understood that in this earth and realm right now, and even with some of us in our very lives, we've got to understand that even though the circumstances may not necessarily be favorable, even though our situation, even though old pain tries to creep up and we may be in pain now, we may even have loved ones that are dealing with it directly now. We have to understand that God is still not moved by those things because his love is for us to the point where he will utilize what we're going through to deliver someone else to expand the kingdom. And when we have the wisdom of God in our lives, we understand that all things are working together for our good. Come on, give him glory for it this morning. Things are working together for our good. Give him praise for it this morning. This is a real deal. He'll never let us down. He'll never leave us. He'll never forsake us. He is the same God that delivered. He's the same God that heals. The same God that delivers and heals is the same God that will utilize our lives and we'll be able to respond to it. Come on, Gideon gave us the example. He talked about his pain, but God said, I don't care about your pain. I got to, I got you on a call, on an assignment. Let's give him glory this morning. Let's praise him this morning. Come on, hallelujah. Let's enter into his course with praise. Let's, in, let's, let's begin to pray this morning. Glory be to God. Father, we thank you this morning. Hallelujah. We glorify your name this morning, Adonai. You are the great Lord God. You are the great, you are the almighty God. We give you praise this morning. Thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning. Thank you, Lord God, for giving us an opportunity. Thank you, Lord God, that we are not identified by our pain, our possessions, Father God, or our situation and circumstances. Thank you, Lord God, that we're defined and we identify with being children of the Most High God. We are defined and we identify with being your sons and daughters. We are defined and we identify ourselves by our deliverer, our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering us. Thank you, Jesus, for in our time of need, you are never failing. You are never slack. You are never slow. You're always on time, and we celebrate that this morning. We give you praise this morning. We acknowledge you, oh God, as being the ruler and the head of our lives. We surrender ourselves. We submit, God, our will to your will, be it unto us according to our faith. So have your way, Holy Ghost. Have your way, oh God. Have your way in our lives. We surrender, God. Forgive us for reducing who we are because of our circumstances. Forgive us for reducing who we are and thinking more highly of ourselves than we should at any point in time. God, if there's any God, if there's any idol that we are not aware of that's in front of you, help bring it to our remembrance. Help bring it and lead us to it so that we can remove it. God, we don't want to have anything in between us, God. We don't want to have any issue that prevents you from being on our side. We don't want anything, God, that prevents you from being able, God, to move and intervene in our situation. If we ourselves have become our gods and we are counting on ourselves, help us, God, to remove and reduce ourselves and to submit under your will and under your way. Be it, Father God, be your will in our lives. We surrender, we humble, we love you, God. We sacrifice ourselves, God. Offer ourselves as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing unto you, God. It is the least that we can do. And so we come this morning, God, giving you praise. We come this morning, God, giving you glory. We come this morning, God, thanking you for who you are and who you always have been and who you will be in the days to come. We love you this morning. We give you praise this morning. We'll bless your name this morning. We'll bless your name this morning. We'll bless your name. You're worthy of all the praise. We bless you, God. We thank you, God. We glorify your name, God. We ask, Lord God, that you just be who you are, God. Let us continue to be the benefactors of your goodness and your grace, your kindness and your loving God, your benevolence towards us. We magnify you this morning. We woke up this morning to give you glory and praise. We woke up this morning, God, with on the lips, God, on our lips, praise and adoration for our great King and our great God. And God, we thank you for it. And so today, God, we ask that you would heal those that are dealing with this virus, that you would remove the virus completely from the earth, eradicate it, destroy it, annihilate it in the name of the Lord Jesus. We ask God 
that there are loved ones that are dealing with loved ones that are dealing with this virus, God, that you would heal them, God, that you would stay the hand of death, that there will be no report of anybody passing away anymore, God, that we want this thing to end in the name of the Lord Jesus. Now, God, we understand that you are working all things out, but we know, Father, that we can call on you. We can ask you. Your word shows us, God, when the blood of Jesus is applied, that the death angel has to pass over. And so we apply the blood of Jesus. God. We declare it, Father, that it will be over our lives, be over our loved ones, be over those that are connected to us. We declare, we say the blood of Jesus be against every wicked scheme of the enemy. The blood of Jesus still works today as it did before. It reaches to the lowest in the valley and it reaches to the mountain very high. And so, God, we need you today. Heal our loved ones, God. Remove the virus from them. We declare in Jesus' name that they won't have anything that will draw and suck them in. And if they're dealing with it now, God, heal them out of the hospital bed that they're in. Let them be a testimony, God, of your goodness and your kindness, your grace and your power. You are Rafa. You are our healer. And we thank you, Lord God, that we will rest in your shalom because you are our peace. We will give it to you. We won't take it in our hands. Your word declares that the battle is not ours, God, but it belongs to you. So fight on our behalf. You are Jehovah Nisi. You are the Lord God our banner. You fight for us. You go before us. The enemy scatter, God. When you rise up, they gotta go, God. They may come at us in one way, but they will flee in seven. We declare it. We believe it. We accept it in Jesus' mighty name. God, we thank you. We also, God, say have your way. We understand that we want your will done greater than our will. We want your will done greater than we desire. We want your will done in the earth, God. And use us, God, as your instruments, and we'll give you praise. Use us as your instruments, and we will intercede. Use us as your instruments. Is God, and we will go to war, but we know that you are with us. Hallelujah. There's nothing that we won't win with you, God, on our side. Things are impossible with man, but with you, all things are possible. We thank you, Lord God, for it. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we magnify you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we declare our God is still God. Hallelujah. Our God is still God. He hadn't changed. Our God, you're still God. You were there in the beginning. Our God, you're still God. You you are there all the time in the midst of storm, in the midst of trouble, in the midst of situations, even in Gideon in a cave, God, no matter where we are, you can reach us, God. In a hole, God, no matter where we are, you can reach us, God. When we're hiding, you know where we are, God. When we're out in the open, you have us covered and protected. We know, God, that you already know, that you are already in power, that you already got it going on. You already, God, have taken care of the situation. And so we magnify you. It may look bleak. It may look, Father God, a certain way, but we trust you. We bless you. We trust you, and we give you glory. Thank you, Lord. We ask that you pour out your wisdom, that you give the understanding necessary for those that have the responsibility to bring forth, God, the treatments, to bring forth, Father God, the cure, to bring forth, God, the more strength, to bring forth resources in the name of the Lord Jesus. I declare, God, that everyone that was supposed to be in position will be in position and things will come to pass. I ask that you pour our wisdom also on your people so that we are not stoked to violence, that we're not stoked to rioting, that we're not stoked, God, uh, to anarchy in the name of the Lord Jesus. But we will stand on your word, God, and we will continue to see your hand move in this moment and in this time. Great, God, is the affliction and great is our God. Great is our God. He is able and he shall deliver. We thank Thank you, Lord God, and we give you praise. We will not be defined by our possessions. We will not be defined by our pain, and we will not be defined by our circumstances, but we shall be defined by our praise to the God and who we're counting on. We're counting on you, God, and nothing will change that in the name of the Lord Jesus. Come on, if you're going to give him glory for that, give him praise for it. We receive it now in the name of Yeshua, Jesus the Christ, our Lord, our Savior, and soon coming King. Come on, give him glory for that. Father, we thank you for giving us the ability to get up this morning to even come towards your throne. God, we approach it. We approach your throne, God, with caution, with, with not fear, God, but with great honor. Thank you, Lord. We cast our cares upon you for you care for us. And we know, God, just as you were with Gideon, you called him by his assignment and not by his circumstance. We thank you, Lord God, that we're not called or identified or labeled by 
our pain, our situation, but by our assignment. We love you this morning. We magnify you this morning. We give you glory in the name of the Lord Jesus. Come on, y'all. Come on. Come on. Come on. You hear that? You hear that? You hear that? Give God glory for him this morning. It's a really big deal. You saw Gideon start tripping on his situation and circumstances. But God says, I didn't call you by that. I call you by your assignment. Your assignment is mighty man of valor. If you keep whining, you won't you won't complete your assignment. Don't keep whining because whining to pre prevent you from completing your assignment. You have the inspiration. Your motivation is to make sure that you go back and you recant Every word that you may have spoken that was in disagreement with what God called you and who he called you to be. Every word that you spoke that was in disagreement, where you have agreed with hell, you have aligned yourself with what the enemy was saying to you. You have aligned yourself with the pain that you are facing. You have aligned yourself with a falsity. You start aligning yourself with how you felt versus what God said. You forgot even what you said about yourself because the situation got to where it was. Don't you let your pain start prophesying to your future. Don't you let your pain start telling you and identifying with who you are. Don't you you change your name to your pain. You change your name to what God called you to. Don't change your name to your circumstances. You change your name to what God called you to. Don't you change your name to your possession. You change your name to what God called you. You better put some respect on your name. God has called you for a specific time and a specific hour. Don't you let what you're going through at the present moment determine what you're going to in your future. You're going to get there, but you're going to get there because you understand that the Lord God, the great Adonai, the great Lord our God, who is able to do what? To keep you from falling. He's able to lift you and to get you to where his arms are not short, nor his promises slack in any power. Come on, give God glory for it. We love you this morning. This is the every day until hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Don't you let your pain start telling you who you are. Don't you go back because you hurt. <laughs> Don't you go back on what you said. Don't you recant what it is. You stay, stand firm and continue to proclaim the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All right, listen, y'all, listen. The every day until prayer and fast. Every day prayer and fast. That's what we're doing. Every day we'll have inspiration. You'll get motivation like you just did. And then you are responsible for the application. I love you. Make sure that you continue to talk to everybody. Invite them on. We're believing God. Listen, those of you that are new, we're actually in faith for having somebody represent every state on the call and then listen after we do the states then maybe we'll go with every city but we want someone on the call right now to represent every state so if you've got somebody you know that can come and intercede listen from about 8 o'clock to 8 27 8 29 that's where we will be every day until get somebody on the call get somebody on the live and then represent we also want to tell you how much we love and appreciate you for being on here we're honored i'm telling you we're we're honored. Let's stay on the wall. We're staying on the wall. Come on, how many of my people on the wall? I know that's right, y'all on the wall. I love you. Have a great day. If you got a prayer request, make sure that you put it uh, in the comments area. I'll get to it. And um, and uh, it's go. Listen, have a great Sunday. Hey, listen. Uh, I know some of y'all going to other churches this morning. Have a great time. But if you get a moment, go ahead and stop by here uh, at 9.30 uh, and or 11.15. And uh, man, you're going to be impacted by today's word and worship. We got something special in worship today. So make sure you get on early and get on on time. All right. Instagram, love y'all so much. Y'all are, uh, are coming in strong. Listen, we're building and we're getting stronger here. Thank y'all. Love y'all as well. Listen, we want to build our groups so we get somebody here on Instagram just like we have on Facebook to represent every state. So make sure you let us know know where you're uh, where you're dialing in from love y'all have a great great morning all right be blessed hey uh what's y'all name come on come on what's all y'all in that facebook love y'all y'all know what time it is come on give him glory for y'all know what time it is you, it's your responsibility to make sure that not only are you on the wall but who you got is coming on the wall with you you got somebody get them on the wall we're interceding we're believing we're interceding and believing man we've got to pray we're in a moment and in a time where nothing is more important than the prayer, the prayer of the saints, the prayers of the righteous. They avail as much. He doesn't withhold any good thing from them that walk uprightly before him. It's our responsibility. People are talking about all the things that they need 
They don't need anything greater than the power of God moving in this situation. The other things may be necessary, but I need you. I love you. I appreciate you. Uh, God is our God. He ain't stopped yet. Y'all have a great, great morning. Uh, meet y'all here uh, tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Central Standard Time every day until. Y'all be blessed. Have a great, great day.